Well, it's a staple during spooky season in Northeast Minneapolis, but this year the Lowry Haunted House is stepping away from the scares. The family run attraction is a lot to put on every year. Sammy Salina looked into why they opted out this year. Normally this time of year, the owners of this house on Lowry are setting up a massive Halloween display, but for the first time in two decades, they won't be putting up their haunted house. You can tell by the colors. Change is here. 22 years. Same goes Yeah. for the Lazar chicks. Part of me is a little bit relieved that when I'm up in the morning before everyone else, I'm not constantly getting startled by the shadowed figures on the yard. Guinevere and Mark over on this side is just spiders and things like that. Have only vegetables in their garden this year. No skeletons or ghouls. There's a lot of people in Minneapolis that can't afford to go to a haunted house, and we put on something that everyone can come to for free. They decided against putting out their massive Halloween display this year. Costs piled up, there were complaints about traffic, and the crew that helps them isn't available. Oh my gosh, so devastated. It's a big change for the block. Yeah, I've done it every year. It's it's a pretty remarkable setup. One guy said we were a staple of Northeast Minneapolis, and we, we had no idea. And some neighbors even offered to step in and help. A lot of people are being incredibly supportive. Help that could one day cause a change of heart. The community outpouring. Feels incredible, like I, I had no clue. Mark and Guinevere say that maybe next year they'll be able to have their haunted house back, but they don't think they can pull it off this Halloween unless a business sponsors them. Sammy Solina, Care 11 News.